are live. Hey guys, it's Heather Boyd Wire and we're doing Wired Lady TV every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time ish. It's always an ish because I'm usually running late and I appreciate your guys' patience. And Teresa, you even messaged me on uh, on Facebook to find out where I was and I really appreciate that, that you guys are always looking out uh, to hop on the live stream. I really, really appreciate it. So let me pull up the video on my computer. Hey, Mustafa, how are you? Sorry I'm late. That's uh, typical me. So you should always expect me to be about 15 minutes later. Luckily, in these day and age, uh, people can multitask while they're waiting, so I appreciate that. So hey, Becca. Hey, Ginger. And let me just see if I can find the video on the computer so I could see your comments. We've got Paula, Clarice. Clarice, thanks so much for messaging me on Facebook to find out where I was. I'm here. I just had to finish my lunch and I had to brush my teeth because I didn't want kale stuck in my teeth while I was live streaming. That would be awkward. So let's have a look at the comments. Am I missing anyone? We've got Peggy. Hey, Peggy. How are you? And Alvin, how you doing? I'm going to scroll back make sure I didn't forget anybody. I think we are good. Hey, Jenny and Amber. All the regulars are here. That's awesome. Cool. And today we're going to do more expend, uh, experimenting with the string art with wire. And uh, hi, Kat. How are you? So I have this little bag of wires from the Artistic Wire Company. Uh, they are the 26 gauge wires. So we're going to play around with that. Uh, Caramel and 30. Cool. Hello. It's a new, uh, a new username. Uh, so here's the wire. It's a 26 gauge. And what um, I'm going to do with that is experiment with some string art. So this is something, if you go to Instagram on the Beetle on uh, Instagram page, they actually have some experiments with, with the, the string art with the wire. So you could check that out there. Hey, Marie from Barcelona. Nice to see you. My cousin used to live in Barcelona. I've been to Barcelona. Actually, some of my colored wire I originally bought in Barcelona about 30 years ago. I have some beautiful colored aluminum wire that I, I bought there, but unfortunately they don't export any, uh, they don't export to Canada, so I actually um, can't buy it there anymore. But there's lots of other places to source colored aluminum online, which is really cool. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to experiment. You remember last time I did a string art card, like a stitched card? Uh, Verdella's here. Hi, Verdella. And uh, so this time I'm actually going to do it with, not with nails, because I thought it would be really, really uh, loud uh, if I was hammering in some nails. So what I did was um, I got some pins, and I'm going to try to do it with pins and see how it's going, and hopefully this is going to work. If not, we might have to backpedal and do a completely different project if this doesn't work, but we'll see what we can do. And then the other thing was, last time when I did... Um, the string art. Wendy had uh, did a. I did the heart, and the heart looked kind of a little bit wonky. So, uh, and Wendy did another version of the heart that looked much better. So, what I want to do is experiment with the heart. And so, I have a few things. I have some like watercolor paper for the base. I have some fabric that I might play around with too. And I have two things I'm going to try to use it on. I have some foam, and I have some uh, cork board. So I'm going to play around with that and see uh, see what's happening with that. So um, Kat said she got a flu shot and it's sick. Oh, you feel sick to your stomach. Yeah, that can happen. You, you might want to just lay low today with because uh, you get all kinds of symptoms after getting vaccinations. But hopefully in the long term, it's a better, you know, you'll feel better for it. So that's good. So let me uh, flip the screen and we're going to play around with it and see what we can do with the stream art so flip it around there we go and I think I'm going to do another let's get wired this weekend on Saturday but I'm going to have to confirm that it depends on whether I'm in town or not but I would like to do another one of those uh, and we'll see how it goes so what I'm going to do first is just get some paper and we're going to try the heart again but we're going to have I ever used oil paints yes I've used oil paints oil paints are very I find the oil painting to be one of the most difficult mediums. I find it very difficult to uh, do it in a way that you don't get the colors really muddy. I actually took some oil painting classes and workshops, and I love the medium, but it takes a long time to get good at it. 
And people that like oil painting like usually really love it. So um, I think it's I think it's a really great medium. I just have not perfected it myself. So what I'm going to do is just do a simple heart to start. We're going to do the same thing where we go around. And a little hack if you want to get a good shaped heart is you can just get like these are my trusty little pill bottles, right? So you can just actually take a pill bottle and just I like just just to trace the shape of the top of it here if you have trouble getting your curve. So if you just do that to get the top of the of the curve there. And then you can just take a straight edge, a ruler or a straight edge, and just go down like that. So this is a good hack to make a heart. If you don't like the angle, you can angle it in a little more too. So this is a, a good hack to make a perfect heart. So we're gonna go around here. I have a, a ton of oil paints, but wonder if I should gift them. Okay, so you don't, you don't like them, Peggy, or you have them and you've never used them. Uh, I ended up giving all my oil paints away too because I just found I have too many projects on the go and it's not my preferred medium. I much prefer watercolor. And I actually just bought some alcohol-based inks that I'm going to experiment with uh, as well. And uh, I've been, a lot of people have been asking me to start an art channel for doing painting and stuff, which is something that I think I will end up doing because I really like the idea of doing an art channel. So now what we can do here, this is the, the cork board. I can't cut the cork board up because obviously I don't want to cut it up, but I thought what I'd do is try to do something like this, but maybe if I do it to one corner and I can remove it after, I just want to play around with it. So I'm obviously not super prepared today, but I did want to try this. So this, imagine you have a piece of cork that's small that you can remove uh, and, you know, make an ornament or something like that. But because I don't, I'm just going to do it right on here and then I'll, I'll destroy it after. But because it's a simple design, I'm not like super concerned about it, but let me move this over so you can see what I'm doing and I'll, I'll move the screen over after so it won't be distracting. So what we're gonna do is this would be your, you know, your basic, your basic uh, shape. And then what you can do is get your pins. So let's see if this is going to work. If we just get the pins on here, please do that. I wanna learn how to draw, says SB. Oh, fantastic. You know what? I love art so much. Yes, please do an art channel. Okay, guys, so it's it's decided. You heard it here first. I will definitely start an art channel because I think it's a great idea. So now, this is what we're gonna do because otherwise, for string art, traditionally you use nails, but it's, um, the nails are would be really loud for me to bang in uh, on the live stream. So I'm just gonna use this cork board and I will try to get uh, I filled the survey. Awesome. I really appreciate appreciate everybody that filled in that survey for the um, for the bracelet challenge because I it really helps me for the next challenge. And I know a lot of you filled it out. And it, I don't really I don't have the names of people that filled it out because it's just sort of a, a anonymous survey. But it gives me a great idea for what you guys want to do for the next challenge. So the next challenge will be November. 20th to the 29th and it's going to be a 10 day uh, wire gift making challenge so we're going to make all kinds of cool stuff out of wire and uh, I think it's going to be super fun so I'm just hoping this is going to work for this cork board I think I'm going to space these pins a little bit more out otherwise it's going to take me forever to do this but this is the basic idea is we're just going to go around and like I said, if you wanted to do it on a wood block with um, with nails, you could totally do that. But because I want to just do this quickly, I think I'm just gonna really, really space them out because otherwise it's going to take forever. So let me just quickly go around. And uh, yeah, so for the 10 day gift making challenge, we're good, every day we're gonna do a different gift idea with wire and it's gonna be anything from ornaments, bookmarks, keychains, uh, all kinds of things. You guys have been giving me some great ideas and it'll be the same format as the bracelet challenge. And we will end up sharing pictures on 
uh, I think we're going to both use Discord and Facebook because there seems to be some people that prefer Discord and see some people that prefer uh, Facebook. So Mia's on. How are you? So Mia, we're just going to play around with the string art again. And then rather than using nails, uh, because it would be way too loud for me to um, uh, hammer in nails on the live stream, I think you guys would get really tired of it. I have a feeling I'm going to poke a hole in my... Thumb, so I think I'm just going to go for it and use these pliers too because if I had a thimble it would work well I just I don't have a thimble on me but I think I would advise that if you're using pins try to get a thimble that you can use to push the pins in otherwise it's going to you might poke your poke your fingers so let's just do this really spaced out where's the survey so the survey I put the survey in the Facebook event page which was the 10 day um, wire bracelet making challenge and also in the discord group for the for the bracelet making uh, challenge so if you didn't do the challenge it's not really necessary to fill out the survey it was just to really get an idea for what people wanted to do for the challenge and what it, and I was actually really asking people what they enjoyed about the bracelet challenge and what how they would like to see it roll for the the gift challenge because we have a very large group on Facebook called the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club and there was um, I was asking people if they wanted to share pictures in the Facebook group and on in the private groups as well and it was sort of a mix like the, the finally there was a mix of of uh, opinions of whether we should share in the group or not so I think what I'm going to do is during the challenge I'll if people do want to share pictures in the wire art and jewelry makers club like every day I could I could say yeah we could do that but we would just have to I would just have to make sure people limit their posts to one post a day otherwise it just gets to be a little too crazy in that group because it's such a big group I've poked a hole in my finger with a needle before yeah that definitely happens it's uh but this this is a way to do it if you don't have a thimble just use your flat pliers and then just guide it in with your fingertip because if you push them in with your fingertip, if you have the, you know, if you don't have a callus or something, it's going to be really, uh, it's going to be really fragile. So obviously here I'm not doing a good job poking these pins at regular intervals, but this is really just to show you an idea of how it could work. Now the problem, there's a couple of ways that you can do the string art. Uh, I'm not going to set up two of them, but I can show you the difference of how to do it because the way I did it before, I didn't like the wrap I did before. So here's our here's our thing all, all set up. So let's get some of our 26 ga uh, gauge wire. And basically what we're going to do is, I'll get a couple of colors. So I have a blue one, I have a red one. So what you would do for this is there's two ways. You could, how I do wrapping with kids usually when I do kids' workshops. Um, Debbie's here. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Uh, oh, my God, I have cork board, cork board just sitting around. Awesome. That's fantastic. And you have cork board, but do you also have this wire? Because you can use either, well, you can use string. You could use thread. You can also use uh, this 26-gauge wire or even 28-gauge wire, which I have a lot more of. So a couple of options for this would be just to take this, if you want to do uh, just a random thing, you could take this and you can just randomly, here, let's just do it quickly. You could take this and just randomly like go around, okay? So a lot of string art is done this way and you can just go around. So you can just go back and forth, like kind of like this, around like this. And the thing is like it could See, I'm just troubleshooting here. So what's happening now is sometimes it's falling off of the uh, pins. See, sometimes it's coming off. That's why sometimes when they do string art, they use uh, they use nails that have bigger heads. And that way you're not going to get that problem of the things coming off. But the other thing you can do, I used a metal cookie cutter to make a picture. Awesome. That's a great idea. So now we can, the other thing you could do is if your heads are small and these are coming off, just give it a wind around. Maybe that would work too. If you just wind it around, then it's going to be, see, then it's not going anywhere. It's not going to come off at all. So you could definitely do that and you could go around and you can just wind it around 
like this. So what it's going to end up doing is just, it's going to look really cool. The idea is you just want to fill in the shape with wire. So it doesn't really matter at what, you know, what you, you know, kind of do with it. Like you can definitely here, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and fill this one in. And what I'll do after is show you just with a drawing how you could do it a little more differently. Like the one that the one that Wendy did was really cool. In fact, maybe I'll just show you a picture of hers. I think that's going to be easier if I just show you the picture of hers to show you how she did hers. But this, you know, this is totally going to work like this. And I'm not even really paying attention to the exact order of the pins. I think the idea is just to really fill it in. I'm not even removing it from the spool itself. I'm just kind of directly going like from the spool, like directly from the spool to this. And I think the Beetle On Company might have some tutorials about how to do this. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I didn't look at any tutorials, so I'm just like guessing the best technique to do this, but they might have some tips and tricks on how to do it. So I like that idea of just like playing around with it, just going around. And I think I'm gonna try to add a different color just to see how it looks. So we're just gonna go around and you see how, you know, it starts to look really cool. And there's so many different ideas for string art. You know, you can do letters, you can do animals. Like, there's so many different things. So after this, I'll, I'm gonna try another one and I'll do it on a different, um, a different surface, but this is with the cork board and it works really well. I'm holding the spool in my hand and I'm just going around like this and then you kind of pull it out as you go because you want it to be quite taut. So you don't want it to be like, you don't want these to be really loose and you can push your nails down more if you want. I didn't push them down very much. So let's just, if we start with that and then we can clip it off here and then we can add another color. So if we just, and then you could push these down a little bit. You can definitely wind them, like maybe have them further down on the on the nails so they don't, uh, so we have room to put other wires on top. That's probably a, a good idea to push it down a bit. And then we can get another color. So here is some more copper color. We'll get that one. And let me just see. Okay, wait, oh, I'm missing all kinds of things. Uh, da, 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 da. I've poked a hole. Okay, da, genius. Debbie, you can shush. What's that? Okay, I'm missing. I think I missed a whole bunch of things. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I think. Did I miss some comments? Uh, so enter the challenge. Need to go to your Facebook page. Yeah, so for the challenge, um, the 10 day wire gift making challenge. I am going to be making an event page on Facebook, uh, but if you don't have Facebook, no problem. I'll post it in the uh, I'll post it in the community section of my YouTube channel, and you can also also join either the Discord group or if you're not like big on social media, you can always even email me pictures of your work as well. Because I know some people aren't super comfortable on social media, and that's not a problem at all. So, so we can definitely. Um, we can definitely, you know, there's many ways to join, but it's not till November, so we have lots of time and I'll post it coming up. Uh, okay, so we have someone that needs to be... Okay, let me just remove that and... Perfect, I think we're good, guys. Okay, uh, da, da, da. yeah. Okay, I'm going to be one of your viewers. Yeah, okay, I think I just removed that viewer. I'm not sure. I just, let me know if you see anything else because uh, that rarely happens on my channel that I have people like leaving weird comments, but I just, I just removed them from the channel. So we should be good to go. So there we go. So we're going to go around here and yeah, you never know on, uh, on social media eh, what you're going to, what you're going to come up with. So uh we just do what we can do. So I'm really appreciative of you guys who actually enjoy watching these things. So that's great. So yeah, so basically the idea here is you can just fill it in. Uh, you wanna make sure you go around all of the nails. That's the big thing is you, and some of them you can go over twice. You know, it's fine if you go over the nails twice. The more you go over this, the better it, like the nicer it'll look because it's going to look like really filled in and stuff. So basically kind of what I'm doing 
is I'm trying to at least get all of the pins covered uh, once and then from there you can just keep going and keep going. So I'm not going to go too far with it just because you kind of get the idea. And let me know in the comments if you have ever done this string art. Uh, it was really popular in the 70s. I'm pretty sure I did this in the 70s with actual string, not with um, not with wire. But now they make such beautiful colors of wire. It's really uh, it's really delightful. It's so fun to do with the wire. Um, I love it. And this is like I said, this is a 26 gauge. It seems to be a perfect size for the for the wire uh, string art. So that's really it's super fun. So let me just check the comments here. Okay, I have to use thread because I don't have 28 gauge wire. That's not a problem at all. You you don't have to worry about that. So Debbie says uh, is being rude to me. Goodbye. So Debbie, I don't know. I, I just deleted that person. I don't think you have to worry about it because uh, I blocked them from the channel. So we should be we should be good. We should be good, Debbie. I, I think it's not uh, it's not going to be a problem now because um, you can on my end I can block people from the channel. So so that's good. And then if you guys see anything else that I miss, just let me know because sometimes I don't always see all the comments. So we're just going to keep going with this. And uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> 99% per, of the people, well, that I see anyways on my on my social media platforms are great, but every now and then you get a bad you get a bad apple, so you just have to get rid of them. That can happen. So let's just keep going around with these and try to get all of my nails or my pins covered, and then it's going to look pretty good. So we're just going to keep going. And yeah, so Mustafa says he doesn't have wires, so if you guys don't have wire. No problem, you can just get thread. You can use regular thread, embroidery thread. You can use literal string. Uh, that's all also uh, something that you can do. And just, you know, wherever you see a spot that needs filling in, then you can adjust your uh, wires to go around that area. And really my goal today is just to really get all of the, all of the nails wound. So far, I think we're pretty good. Looks like they're pretty well all round, wound around. And you want to make sure you keep, you know, the shape of the heart too. So I wouldn't like crisscross above there because I don't want to lose that shape. I think we're just about done here. So maybe just down here, here. Oh, and then the very end one. So we'll have to somehow get down to the very end one. So I'm just going to go up here and then down. Maybe let's see how we can do this because I just want to make it somewhat strategic so we'll go over to this one and then up to one this side up here and then I'm going to go down and then I think we should be we should be good so we're going to go here and then down straight down okay and we can end at the bottom and then that should be good so we're going to just do that I'm going to cut this and uh okay Debbie has a lot of thread from needlepoint embroidery excellent that's a great idea fantastic and let's just see flora hills is here hi how are you and Debbie is just the first time viewer yeah exactly we got rid of them i'm pretty sure we're good so guys this is this is the first sort of official kind of string art thing with the wire i think it looks really good i think there's a lot of potential so like i said unfortunately I didn't have a small piece of cork, but you can buy small pieces of cork at Michael's or any any store and you can actually like glue it to a piece of wood on a frame. I have one that I'm going to be doing a tutorial for. It's actually this heart. So I got this. I got this from Michael's and I'm actually I didn't want to do it today because I have to poke nails in and it's very loud. So this is I'm going to do a tutorial for this one coming up soon. So, love your work, Heather Loss. Oh, lots of love from India. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Tim, hi, Heather. Loved the great idea from your video yesterday. Ah, yes, and finally flipping. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an issue for a lot of people with the pendants uh, flipping around. So I found a few techniques that work well for that. And I'm just going to open up because uh, Wendy had posted on Discord a while back was the a heart from the string art one last time and I just wanted to show you guys a picture because rather than actually do it 
Um, I'm going to, I think it was in the post live streams. Uh, let me just go back, 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 back. I think it was last week. Do you guys remember where Wendy posted that picture of the heart? And now I can't see it. Uh, ta -da. Let me know if you guys remember where that picture was. Because she posted a picture of the heart with the um, with done with the string art, but now I'm not quite sure where it is. So I just have to find it. Uh, maybe it was share your work. Yeah, let me get let let me not let me. It was two weeks ago. Hmm. I just have to try to find it because she she posted that picture. Yeah. Oh, here it here it is, guys. Here it is. So this is three. This is Wendy's. What she did with the hearts. So see how this one is crisscrossed like this. So this one she done as a stitched card, but it's the same concept. So this is it. So rather what I had done, which was my mistake. Let me see if I could find my mistake. Um, mm. No, I'm not sure. Okay, I can't really find it right now. But what I'll do is just show you hers. Yeah, because mine I had just gone from one to one to one to one to one, and it made a big knot in the middle, which wasn't so good. But this one, she she just went like kind of that one to that one, and then like started in a small area, if I'm explaining myself well. So she went from there to there, and then the next one there to the next one, and then back up on that side. So you just go forward one, backward one, forward one, backward one. And then that makes this beautiful shape like this. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with this piece is something more like that. So that'll be coming up soon. And so there's that one. So this is on the cork board. So now what I wanna do is, let me just tilt my camera a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna tilt it a little more. Now I have this stuff. Okay, so this is like a foam board that I wanted to try this, this board too, just to see how it would work. So what I thought I'd do with this, this is just a kind of like a foam for camping and stuff. So I, I'm gonna see if it's going to work. I just wanna cut like a little square, okay? Might or might not work. I think the cork is probably your best bet. And then the idea for that is you can either stick a paper on it, okay? I even have like a, a pattern paper that would be super cool. Or I had some fabric, so just let me try to find my fabric. And what I was thinking is if you put fabric on it, almost like a canvas, uh, then that might work as well. So what I'm gonna do is just cut a piece of the fabric. Okay, I'll just cut a piece that's too big. I love cutting fabric like that because you just like, when it's a cotton weave, you just clip it and then it cuts in a straight line, which is great. So this is actually fabric I use for quilting because I do a lot of, I used to do a lot of quilting. So yeah, Walmart has wooden shapes too. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. So now what we're going to do is the idea would be to cover that and I would ultimately maybe glue it on a base or something. So, so then you'd like kind of bring this around and bring that around. And I guess I would, I don't, I should have got my hot glue because what I would do is maybe put some hot glue or something on it and then just bring it around. But I think for now, maybe I'll just try to do what I can like this. Just to see, I just want to see if it's going to work, really. That's that's all I really want to do right now. So the idea would be you'd have like the foam board, okay? And you can just, yeah, I think it's going to be easier. You know what, let me at least tape it because I think I don't want it like coming undone and stuff. So let me just get some tape and we'll just tape it at the back. So this is my mailman tape, we call it for delivering, like doing deliveries and stuff. So let me just bring this around here because I just want it to stay in place. So we're gonna just do this, bring that. And I just wanna see if it's gonna work because I think you can experiment with different surfaces. I really like the idea of using pins rather than nails. Uh, but I think if you do use a wooden board, you will definitely have to um, get some get some nails otherwise it's not going to stay in place so we're going to just do this okay uh add 
pins so it holds yes i do have some pins as well that i might be able to stick through it i'll do this for now just to get it like secured at the back and then i have some longer pins as well so we should be good with that so well, let's just see how we do it normally i would just grab my hot glue and do that but the pins is a good idea too so let's just do it like that just to have a temporary kind of fix type of thing and there we go so that's the idea I don't know if this is this is a great idea. Like the the cork is probably better because it's more uh, dense and it's more firm. But the other idea, I had written a list of things I wanted to try for the string art. Now this might be way too small, but I think we have to do it quite small. So one thing I thought about that would be cute. Let me just get here. I'm gonna get a paper. I'll just do some sketches first. So an idea we could do. Uh, I thought like maybe like even a feather something like that could be good so if you do like you could do like dots like that and then like feather kind of thing like that I guess you'd have to kind of curve it a little bit but the other thing I wanted to try was just a letter so like you can do just like a letter like say the letter A Alman, you're lucky your name is the first letter in the alphabet so we could do something like that and then just kind of stick it on top. So if we were to do like an A, so we can do it, um, let's try to get it somewhat even. So here, why don't I just get a, here's a straight edge. So we'll just try it like this. Let me cut us, I'm gonna cut a small piece the size of our square. Okay, so we're gonna just do, okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm 61 or 16. <laughs> What's your age? <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so age is just a number, right? So let's go ahead and do a the letter A, what we can do. So I'm just going to get that one there. Okay, and then just do that. It doesn't have to be perfect, so I'm just going to kind of trace it out like that the, that's the other thing you can buy at Michael's is wooden letters with uh with the um, like large letters that are made out of wood that you can add nails and do your string art and it's all ready to go because it's already got the um it already has the shape it's already made in the shape of the letter so here's like just a basic kind of thing there so what you would do is just center it on your piece and then we can add our our pins. So I'm not 100% sure this surface is going to be strong enough, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, let's love that there's young people here. Yes. Yeah, no, there's uh, especially well now, I guess there's a lot of more young people at home, the people that uh, are studying at home as well, like all ages. I know in Montreal, the uh, elementary schools are back in person but all the colleges and universities are online. So there's a lot of people home now and uh, looking for inspiration. So another channel that I really love that there are a lot of young people on as well is Art Prof. I think I've told you guys about Art Prof. So if you like painting and drawing, Art Prof is a wonderful, wonderful uh, website, YouTube channel to go on to. And they have a lot of resources for teachers, art teachers, but also just a lot of great projects for, for um, people that like to draw and paint. So that's Art Prof, Art, like art, and P-R-O-F. And uh, they're the ones that inspired me to do the, um, they inspired me to do the Discord uh, group because that's how they share their stuff they have live streams and then after the live streams like they do art together and then after the live streams they share their work on discord which is really cool and the other thing they do which is something I might try to start is doing challenges but like more open-ended daily challenges that's not like not with the the whole like organization and and the draw at the end and all that kind of thing it's just like a really you know basic art challenges that they that they um, do together type of thing. So every month they have a theme and then people can create art based on that theme. And one month they did a theme that I participated in. It was called Art Cubes. Do you remember the wire cube that we did? 
it was like that. It was like that where they, um, everybody could make like either drawings of cubes. Some people did more like 3D stuff. I like the really 3D stuff, but everybody has their own interpretation of, of art, right? And of themes. So it was really interesting to see what everybody did. Now this is a little finicky because it's very small, but it's, uh, you get the idea. So you just kind of space the pins. If you want to be really uh, OCD, they say, you could you could measure them out and and have the pins equidistant apart. I might do that, like if I do a, a full-on tutorial with a template, I would probably more do something like that where I have a template where all the pins are equidistant apart. But for now, just for the sake of trying this, I think this is a good idea. I love painting nature sceneries. Yeah, painting nature is beautiful. I'm more of an abstract painter, although I do love to paint. Actually, I'll show you guys after. I'm working on a series of teacups for a friend of mine. So after I, after I do these, I'll, I'll show you the, my recent paintings. So that was a commission because I do custom cards for people and a girl commissioned me to make some paintings of teacups and a book. So that's my most recent thing. So um, welcome to her group. Oh, Tim, so yes, um, socio, okay, sociopath. I think I'm missing a whole bunch of things here, okay. <laughs> I think I'm just missing a whole bunch of things. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, this is where I wish that we could have an audio chat while I'm on YouTube because it would be much easier to chat with you guys so I could hear your voices because it's really hard for me to see comments and work at the same time. So I know that there probably are ways of doing that. We could almost do like a Zoom call and be on YouTube at the same time or something. I don't know how that would work, but I think with the, you know, increased technology and stuff, they're finding ways to do stuff like that because that would be super cool. Like I could be like showing you guys stuff and then we could be, be having a conversation at the same time. That would that would help a lot. If you got, you can do that at Discord. Really, Elman, you could do that at Discord where you have... Uh, I could like demo something and then we can all like audio chat at the same time. If that's possible, we could definitely try that. So if you guys are on Discord, we could do that together there. Um, but if you're not on Discord, I should post the link, the invitation to that. Okay, at some point I'll post the invitation to Discord and maybe that's something we can explore on that platform because I've never tried that. So what pins are you using? These are really tiny pins. These are half inch pins okay these are half inch pins i got them from michael's so probably you can get them in any craft store or maybe e even in the fabric store because i think regular pins are going to be too big but these little pins seem really good like half inch ones yeah they're really uh, they seem to be a good size and i'm just gonna have to like what I'm going to do is try now to find more options for like cork pieces. I have a feeling they might have cork shapes at Michael's. Let me guys know, let me know in the comments, you guys, if you've ever seen actual cork shapes, because that would be super interesting as well to do, um, to have like really cork shapes. Because like I said, this foam is okay but I'm a little bit worried it might get all mangled when we start wrapping it. So we're gonna go see. Susan's here. Hey, Susan, how you doing? Susan's in the same time zone as me. It's, uh, what time are we now? We're two o'clock in the afternoon. I started a little bit late. So we're, uh, we're 2 p.m. right here in Montreal. Eastern time, that's it. So there we go. So here's pretty well what I've done there with the pins. And now we're gonna to try to wrap those. So what we'll do is I'm gonna push them in, I think a little bit more, just a little bit more, cause I don't want them coming out when I wrap them. So I'm just gonna push these down a little bit more. These ones go in much easier than in the cork because with the cork, 
The cork is denser, so I wouldn't do this with my finger with the cork. So Ginger says, I have cork board from Dollarama is about 12 by 12. Okay, well, that's a great size. Yeah, 12 by 12 is a really great size. You can do some more intricate things because there is some really cool designs you can do where you combine shapes as well. Uh, so I'll definitely be exploring more of this. Now, this is going to be the fun part is to try to get this paper off without pulling up the pins. So let's see what I can do with that because I don't want to pull up all my pins. I should maybe have used a thinner paper, but this one's not too bad. Okay, we're just going to pull this off the best we can without pulling the paper, like the nails off. So we're going to see what we can do. So we're going to just do that. Okay, should be good. Yeah, because you want to definitely take the paper off before you wind it or you'll never get it off. So we're just going to do this. I think a thinner paper would have been good. I used, I used computer paper, so that probably wasn't the best idea. So if you have like a tissue paper or something that's thinner, I highly advise it because this, this stuff is harder to get off. So there we go. I mean, it's doable. It's just a little harder to get off. So let me just pull this up get this one off and then we're going to try to wrap it there we go rip that perfect okay perfect so that works so that's kind of cute like that and now we have to try to wind it butter paper what is butter paper is that parchment paper sounds like it might be parchment paper which is what i used yesterday to make my muffins so now let's find some nice colors that's going to go this is nice or we could do a contrasting purple color, or we can do green. So what color do you guys think would look good with this? I have green, I have turquoise, I have purple, and I have like a coral color. So you guys let me know what color would look good with that, and then we'll choose one of those. Parchment paper, yes, that's it, perfect. Uh, congrats, Mustafa. Okay, did I miss something? I think I might have missed something. What are you going to do with that heart? Yeah, that's a good question. I think at the heart, I don't know because I, I have to take it off the cork. So we're going to figure out what we're going to do. Blue and purple, blue, purple, blue, purple, blue, and, and green, green coral. <laughs> oh, gosh, guys. Okay, I will do purple because... <laughs> Because Almond said purple, and it's uh, and it's an A for Almond. Not that I'm gonna send it to you because it's very fragile. Uh, I think it would fall apart if I tried to mail it to you. But just just so we could see what it looks like, and I think the purple's good because it's a good contrasting color. I just have to try to get that out of there. Perfect. And yeah, everybody has different ideas about what colors look good, but I think, I think we could combine colors too, but let's just start with this to see how it goes and go from there. Purple is my favorite color. Yes, purple's pretty. Maybe a card. Yeah, this I could, I'm going to figure out what I could do. I bet I could lift it and transfer it onto a smaller piece of cork. I'm, I'm not going to ruin it. I bet I could lift it off and put it onto something else. Yeah, I'll definitely figure out something to do with that. I think uh, I think there's definitely something I can do with that. And and mine too. This, this is your favorite color. Awesome. Okay. So let's start wrapping. There's something. What's that? Okay, just that. There was a little. Ooh, I don't know what that is. There's something. A little dust or something on there. Okay, it's gone. So now I think we're just going to start randomly wrapping it and go from there. So let's go ahead and see what happens. This too, I think I'm going to wrap it around the pin. You know what? I, this one's really fragile. So I think I'm going to, let me get my other wire. And I probably have purple in the 28 huge wire. But I'm going to just see because I'm really worried that... It's going to distort, the 26 gauge is going to distort that. So let me see what I have in the 28 gauge wire. And I think it's going to be better because I don't want to ruin the shape. Yeah, I think I have, look, I even have purple in the 28 gauge. So let's do this. I think it's going to be better. Okay. 
my daughter's favorite is all shades of blue. I love blue as well. So here's purple in the 28 gauge wire. So let's give that a shot. Okay, and I'll just use what seems to already be cut off the spool and then we can add, you can add wire to it. That's the nice thing about this project is you don't really have to be too precise with your measurements because you can always add wire. Like, look at, this is just already a separate piece. I think I have a whole bunch of separate pieces here. So maybe I'll just try to use up these pieces. That might be the best thing because I, um, I, I don't really want to like cut more pieces if I already have these that I can use. So let me just use these pieces that are already cut and I think it's going to be better. So this is 28 gauge wire. I found a whole bunch of plastic beads when cleaning. Oh, that's cool. Nice. What size of wire? Where did you get them? So this wire here is the 26 gauge wire that was sent to me by Beadalon, uh, the artistic wire um, that makes artistic wire. This is another 28 gauge wire. I'm not sure the company of this one, but you can buy this thin wire on Amazon. You can buy it on Etsy. You can buy it at many uh, stores. Even I've seen it at the dollar stores as well. Hello again from Ecuador. Hello, hello. Awesome. And uh, for the heart, can you kind of weave all the edges together and lift it? Hmm. That's a possibility too. Yeah, I might be able to do something like that. Yeah, or make a wire shape and wind it around the wire shape. Although that it might be easier to start from scratch. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna simmer on that idea. I love your guys' all suggestions, and then I'll let you know what I decide to do with it after. So, so you could, but it would show. So that you mean for the winding around? I'm pretty sure there's something interesting we can do with that for sure. So let's go ahead and start winding the wire on the, this is the 28 gauge wire. I'm a little bit, little bit worried that it's very fragile. So guys, I'm thinking this kind of foam is not your best bet for this design, just because it seems to be pretty soft. So I don't even know if I wanna like fully I'm thinking I don't even want to fully wind it around like a full time. I'm going to try it this way where I just kind of like go like that way and then wind it that way just because I don't want to put too much stress on the on the um on the pins. So I'm going to try it this way where I'm just kind of going around and around and just yeah, I find this really soft unless I push them down even more, but I only have so much uh, place that I can push them without them, you know, poking through the other side. So this was just a thought. I um, think I'm gonna like more recommend the cork board because it's also the other thing that's happening is the fabric is starting to pucker in. So that's happening too. So which isn't the best idea, so but let's just play around with it for now and then we'll go from there. So once you run out of wire, you can just kind of bring it in and cut it and then we'll just keep going with this side. And I just really wanted to show you how it's going to look with the with the letter because they're, the shapes that are inside are going to be like, blank like kind of open right so that's the idea is we kind of like do it in a way that you'll still be able to see the well in art terms you call it the negative space so the space that is not part of the object so uh so that will this part in there will be like negative space this is all negative space around the outside so uh Comment below if you're an art geek like me because <laughs> I love concepts like that. It's like the design concept of having negative space. The negative space is as important as the, well, I don't know if they call it positive space, but as the object itself because it, it creates composition, it creates sort of a uh, balance and interest in the work. So yeah, and when you learn how to draw, they teach about negative space, how it's important to look at that and uh, and it helps you to determine the shape of the object itself. And that's one of the exercises I um, 
uh, the book, the, it's called Drawing with the Right Side of the Brain. I actually did a, vi a couple of videos about it a while back before I started niching into wire art and jewelry. And the, that book talks about how to improve your drawing skills by working right side of your brain, which is very, very interesting because the right side of your brain is the creative part of your brain. And the left side of the brain is the part of the brain that's more analytical and with numbers and stuff like that. Uh, Rebecca says negative space is super important with photography. Absolutely. Yeah. A hundred percent with photography, all those design concepts are super important. You know, the rule of thirds, negative space, uh, all that stuff, you know, you have to think about when you're, when you're, you know, to take the perfect photo, to draw a beautiful picture. It's what's pleasing to the eye. It's what we naturally gravitate towards. And the whole idea too is uh, it's things that are asymmetrical are always more interesting than things that are like really like perfectly symmetrical and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's just uh, really interesting to think about those concepts. So those are the sort of things I would talk about if I had an art channel, because I think it's really, it's really interesting. There's a few like really simple tricks that you can do to improve your, your artwork when you know these concepts. So it's really interesting. Um, do you use to sell these? Yeah, these, uh, I don't sell these. I do sell stuff in my Etsy shop, but it's mostly uh, custom wire art uh, and jewelry and wedding cake toppers. But the, the tutorials I do on YouTube are not things that I sell. These are just fun explorations, uh, cool projects, a lot of things I used to do with kids and workshops and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's what uh, that's what I do mostly on the YouTube and uh, and before I used to do a lot more mixed media things on YouTube and then like I said a, a few years ago I just decided to do wire art and jewelry so uh, it's easier to kind of be focused on one thing when you have a YouTube channel. So yeah, this you can see it's super finicky because these sometimes when you're like when these are wobbly it almost makes your work like twice as long to do because it's really you have to fiddle with each and every pin as you wind around it. So I find I would definitely not recommend using this foam because it's really like, like you see, I have to like wiggle it around and yeah, I'm not really enjoying this one so much because it is very, very, uh, you know, finicky. That's the best word I could think to, to, to describe it. So we're just going to keep going with it. I'd like to at least try to fill it in so it looks somewhat like an A. So we're just going to keep going back and forth with it to see what we can do. Um, I love the wire necklaces. Yes, yeah, no, I definitely uh, do a lot, of, a lot of funky stuff like that. Uh, today I had an order for a volleyball player ornament, so that was super cool. I post a lot of that stuff on Instagram, on my Heather Boyd wire on Instagram, so you can see that sort of thing uh, there as well. And I love, I thrive on custom, custom work, that's my thing, is I love like people will send me a sketch of what they want, uh, especially for wedding cakes, I find it super cool. And so they'll send me a picture of what they want and then, and then I can make something like very unique that they could put on their w wedding cake, not just like a little ceramic uh, bride and groom, you know, there's sky, sky is the limit. That's super fun. So there we go. We're, we're just kind of getting around it here. I want to try to go around this area too, so we can see, uh, make it a little more defined where the that little middle part is in the A. And uh, yeah, let me know. Sometimes Mustafa and Alman uh, will work along while I'm making stuff on the live stream. So guys, let me know if you're making stuff as we go here. Uh, if you sell them, we will buy them. <laughs> what, if I sell which, which ones, Debbie? I'm not sure. Debbie's definitely ordered some things from me before. So that, I really appreciate that. That's, uh, that's super fun. Yeah. And I made something really different and special for her at one point. So uh, yeah, I love I love just different different things that people can't get anywhere else. It's it's really fun. So we're gonna go around here. Actually, today I had um, I'm working on one that a, a lady had this really great idea. She has a print, so she has a print that she's printed out, and she wants me to do the wire lettering, like an inspirational quote to put over this print. And I thought, oh, that's a cool idea. And that's something you guys could do if you do the lettering. 
is like do a phrase like a really inspirational I, she originally had like this really super long phrase and I was like wow that's good it's really gonna take me too long and it's going to be way too expensive if I do a really long one but so she gave me a more simplified quote and she's going to I'll send her the quote out of wire and like with some little extension sticks that she could stick through the paper and then she's going to put it together and put it in a frame so I thought that was a really cool idea and that would be a great gift idea actually maybe we should do something like that in the gift challenge is do like an inspirational quote out of wire and superimpose it on a print let me know in the comments if that sounds something that might be interesting for you guys Peggy says, I've been in funk, I haven't been creating. Well, Peggy, you kind of have a lot on your mind and a lot of fun things on your mind too. So uh, sometimes you have to take a break from doing art, you know, if you have other priorities that, that have to be worked on in, in your life for sure. And it's just, uh, it's just part of the process, you know, everything. They talk about seasons, you know, everything has its season. And sometimes, you know, it's not the season to be creating, you know, not, not literally, not like because it's fall, but in a sense that it's just not the right time. So, uh, so definitely, you know, forgive yourself for if you feel guilty about that and just uh, work on some other things. And it's too good and so creative. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm just having so much fun. And uh, I actually spend a lot of time, you know, on other creative projects that have nothing to do with wire, one of which is writing comics. And that's sort of one of my favorite things to do. And that I can spend hours and hours like doing, I do photo collage comics and, uh, and they're just silly and fun, but they're, but they're creative. I, I enjoy doing things like that. So now once you like start doing around this, the other thing you can do too, is if you want to outline it, you can definitely outline it too. Like you can either just like outline it with a straight line or let's see what it looks like if we start to outline it like going on each individual nail. I hadn't thought about that, but it might be a good idea to give it a little more definition by outlining it. So let's just go around and try to outline it by going around each pin. Yeah, I probably should have spaced these pins out a little bit more, but this is at least going to give you a bit of an idea of how it would work. So we're going to go around each pin, okay? And then it's going to show you what it will look like if it has a bit of an outline. Now, I might not finish this one on the live stream. I might end up like, if I see it's going to take me too long, I might end up finishing it a little later, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm uh, missing, oh, I'm missing some stuff, guys. Uh, my aunt passed away a couple days ago, and my first friend told she's not my best friend. Oh, no, that's sad. Oh, boy. Yeah, she must have her own issues to deal with. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, and sometimes, yeah, sometimes we have ups and downs in friendships. Sometimes it's just misunderstandings. That's uh, it's unfortunate that that happened. And, uh, I mean, things can always change. You never know. And, uh, yeah, people have their own reasons for behaving certain ways. Yeah, definitely. But we're definitely all your friends, Peggy. That's 100% sure. 100%. Yeah. This is, I, I just love the community that we have going uh, here and in the Facebook group and stuff. It's really, I, th I feel like a lot of us have really become great friends. And it's, uh, and it's nice. Very nice. So guys, this is this is how it's looking like that with the going around each individual nail. Now, if these or pins, if these pins were actually pushed into corkboard, I really believe it would be more solid and more like this line would be straighter because right now it's going a little bit off because because this uh, foam is too soft so that's the problem there and you'll see the fabric is puckering up so what I might do in the future is actually like take a fabric put it on cork board but maybe even use one of those adhesive like a very light layer of spray adhesive to to stick the fabric down because otherwise you see it really puckers up like that so that probably would be the best option to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep working on this on my own time. I might try to figure out a way to avoid those um, puckers, but I'm going to turn the, I'm going to turn the uh, camera around because I'm missing all your things and we will keep going. Uh, I'll, I'll do this after the fact. So let me turn the camera. 
Okay, my door is open. So there we go, guys. So perfect. So I'm missing a bit of your comments. I'm, I think, da, 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 let me just see. Verdilla said she lost her aunt. I'm so sorry about that. Wow, oh, 35 years, she won't even talk to you. Mm. Well, Peggy, hopefully something will get worked out with that. That's, uh, it's very strange. And, you know, these are really trying times for everybody, you know, not only just regular daily stresses, but with what's going on with social isolation and stuff. So sometimes it affects us in, in more ways than, uh, than we can imagine. So just giving a big hug out to everybody that's having, you know, troubles right now. And just know that in this community, you know, we're all friends and uh, I'm really glad that we can all connect. And, and if ever you need to connect, um, we're, you know, on uh, Facebook together. We have the Discord group and just immerse yourself in art when you can. It's the best therapy as far as I'm concerned. And, and yeah, so I'm going to keep going with this little guy uh, after. I'm going to figure out what I can do with it. And with the heart, I'm going to see what I can do about maybe transferring it off the paper and doing something with that as well. So, and then guys, uh, I'll let you know about Saturday. We'll probably do a Let's Get Wired at noon, uh, so we usually do it at 12 noon on a Saturday, but let me 100%, uh, um, uh, I'll go to, the, I'll mention in Discord and in the community section if that's gonna happen. It's just gonna depend if I'm in town or not, so we're gonna do that. So, so thank you, take my name, please. Okay, perfect, yes, so I, I will, anytime you need updates and stuff, I'll post them in the community section. And I'll put the I'll put the invitation to the Discord group in that. Uh, actually, I can probably do it now. Let me just find the Discord um, invitation, and I'll put that in the comments now. And then, if you guys want to join the Discord group, that's where I'll announce. There's a section called "Let's Get Wired," and so what we're gonna do is we watch the well. I create something online, and you guys can create something at the same time. And okay, I'm gonna get the invitation, and then what happens from there is uh, we share pictures live in the in the group. So that's super fun. So I'm just gonna get the link, generate the link. I'm gonna go back here, and da, 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 there we go. So here is the okay. Uh, oh, that's not it. That's weird. That didn't post. Let me try to find the invitation again. Uh, that one, did, okay, so get the invitation, it doesn't expire, never expires, perfect, generate link, copy, okay, so let's get that, and we will put that in the Discord group, okay, my name is Irene, Irene. okay, so Floral Hills is Irene, so Irene, I just posted the link here to Discord, so if you want to join any of our, you know, community there and um, join the Let's Get Wired, that's where I put it. And your eyes are gorgeous. I've got blue eyes. Yeah, I have blue eyes. Mimi has brown eyes. And uh, I guess there, you got a close-up of my eyes there. There you go. So, uh, so yeah, so we'll hopefully see you Saturday. I'll post it in the Discord group. I'll post it in the community section. And I wish you guys a wonderful day or night. And we will see you the next time.